Travelled again in midweek. This time, the somewhat shorter trip to Rochdale in the second leg of the Auto Windscreens Northern Final. With that 4 1 first leg cushion, Blues fans were understandably confident. What's your predictions for this evening then? Well, I don't know, it might be a hard match. Rochdale might come at us early, but uh, I don't know, I think we forget get an early goal. It's going to be all over. 3-0, no problem. Confident? Positive. That's the way to go. Go for glory. What would it mean to you to go to Wembley? Oh, the, the world. The world. People say it's just the auto shield, but it's something. Eh? You know what I mean? Wembley's something. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's like our World Cup. It'd be like the final. Well, it's a lifelong ambition to see Carlisle play there. I've been supporting them for nearly 16, 17 years now. It was heartbreaking last year when we missed out to Huddersfield, but this year, no. No chance of Rochdale, I'm afraid. No pre-match nerves for you? Um, well, I went through my pre-match routine. <laughs> Which is? Uh, I always have a cup of bottle in the Wembley Stadium mug before a match. It's worked every time, so... I think it was going to be a hard one-all draw. One-all draw. They're not going to panic. They're going to just play like they've done all season. Nobody's panicked this all season. Rochdale aren't tonight. There's no way Carlisle are going to flog this tonight. And when you're at Wembley, what would that mean to you? A hell of a lot. I've been to Wembley dozens of times, watched England. But when Carlisle get there, it's from the heart. It's going to be fantastic. Better than, I don't know, it's better than winning the lottery, seeing Carlisle at Wembley. Waited years for this. You swapped the lottery? I swapped the lottery for Carlisle getting to Wembley. Mr Knighton, we're not worthy. Hero. Tremendous occasion. We've had some tremendous occasions over the last 18 months. This is probably the highlight to date because so much is riding on it, both from a prestige point of view, to get to the green turf and the famous Twin Towers is, would be wonderful for the city. And, of course, for the old coffers, something that I'm very interested in, it's extremely important uh, that we can try and get through to tonight. 4-1 up from the first leg. Any sort of pre-match nerves for yourself? Always very nervous. Remember what happened last year, Huddersfield and ourselves, precisely the reverse position, and yet it was 4-3 before half-time, and we had plenty of chances to go through. I'm sure it's going to be the same again, so I'm counting no chickens whatsoever. It's going to be tough, but let's keep our fingers crossed. A long 90 minutes lay in store. With three goals to claw back, Dale had no option but to throw everything at Carlisle. And inside 15 minutes, a viciously deflected Steve Whitehall shot put them in front. Eight minutes later, the Carlisle defence cracked again as Sean Reid bulldozed his way to goal. Rochdale led 2-0 on the night and trailed just 4-3 on aggregate. United looked anything but potential champions. Berta so often before they dug deep. Six minutes before half-time, a curry corner led to a vital goal. Defender Derek Mountfield scoring from close range, giving Carlisle a two-goal cushion, which they certainly needed as Rochdale continued to press. The final whistle was a long time in coming.
Well, it's the longest 90 minutes of my life, without doubt. You know, we had a, uh, a bad start. It was very unfortunate, really, a bad deflection. And then a, a scabby goal at the near post, and so it put us under the cosh. But the commit commitment of this group of players saw us through because we got a goal back, which put us back in the driving seat, and we defend it for our lives in the second half. And, you know, I'm just delighted for everyone. I'm delighted for this group of players, my staff, the chairman, the board, but particularly for the supporters, they're fantastic. It's a scrap, that was a battle. Rock edge of the team, we, we, dug, it, we dug in deep and we, and we got there. <laughs> now, you've been there before, but can you sum up your feelings again tonight? Oh, no matter what comes, it's Wembley, still Wembley. It's a great place to play games and I'm looking forward to it. I hope that's looking forward to it. If I get there, I might get battered here. You might not survive this. Did you think it was going to be that much of a battle tonight? Not really, no, but we, we considered two early goals. I'm a silly. And, uh, <laughs> and this is how they reward a goal scorer, is I know. it? I don't care. Well, still, that's the main thing. It's, it's going to be a great day for everybody. I hope we have a, have a good performance on the day and really enjoy ourselves. These boys dug in, they battled, it wasn't easy. And obviously... Go on, Chairman! <laughs> Go on! <laughs> obviously, I'm delighted for everybody here. They deserved it. They won by two goals over the leg. All credit to Mick Wars of coaching staff and the, and the team. Wonderful, they battled, and we're at Wembley. <laughs> it's superb, like, you know, it's, you know, I've been there once before, but as a substitute, um, all the lads, it's a bit... It's a bit of te tension's a bit um, a bit low on at the moment, but uh, you know it hasn't sunk in yet. I don't think we're at Wembley. Um, you know the fans the fans have been great again tonight. You know and we've done it for them, we've done it for ourselves. And we're at Wembley. Like the league got a big league game on Saturday. You know so we've got to get our heads down for that.